How to make your own bioplastic pine resin pot. You will need a hob or camping stove. And the materials we provided in your packs, including safety clothing, saucepan, spoon, hexagonal mould, 3D printed measure, pine resin, coffee grounds and jute fibres. We didn't have the 3D printed measure in this recording. For pine resin and coffee grounds, firstly put on your apron, mask, safety glasses and gloves, tie up long hair and remove scarves and dangly jewellery. Step 2. Place your empty pan on your hob or camping stove and preheat to a high heat, turning it down once the pan is hot. Step 3. Fill your tall 3D printed measure with pine resin or weigh out 70 grams, being aware of dust. Step 4. Pour this into your hot pan, try not to burn yourself, the mixture will start to bubble. Step 5. Give your pan a shake every minute or so until the pine resin is fully melted. Don't leave this unattended and make sure it's all liquid with no bits or lumps left in the mixture. It should take roughly 5 to 10 minutes depending on your hob. Step 6. Get your empty hexagonal mould ready on a heat resistant surface. Step 7. Fill your tall 3D printed measure to the second line with coffee grounds and add into the hot liquid pine resin. Stir quickly with a spoon to make sure it all gets well mixed through. The more coffee added, the thicker the mixture gets and the mixture will change to a darker colour as the coffee grounds dissolve. Step 8. Once everything is mixed in and the size of the bubbles have reduced, it's now ready to pour into your mould. Pour slowly and carefully to avoid overflowing and keep pouring until the mould is full. With the gloves still on, give your pan a quick wipe clean with the rag provided. Step 9. Tap the side of the mould a few times to release any bubbles and then leave to cool for half an hour. Step 10. After half an hour, squeeze the sides of the mould to check if it feels solid and set. If so, turn your mould upside down and pull the sides down to squeeze out the pot. And there you go. You'll notice that the pine resin coffee grounds makes your pot quite a dark colour and look quite smooth. Now I'm going to try it with jute fibres. Repeat steps 1 to 6, putting on all your safety clothing first. Step 7, while your pine resin is heating up, pack your empty mould with jute fibres so it's level across the top of the mould. In step 8, carefully pour the hot liquid pine resin on top of the fibres. Take care to fill each corner and stop pouring once the mould is full. Repeat steps 9 and 10 and remove from the mould once set. You'll see it's a bit of a lighter colour and there's a texture from the fibres. What other ingredients or food waste could you try adding to the hot pine resin? Thanks for watching. Have fun!